was it like having the Wallabies coach here at training today? Yeah, no, he's out and about, um, getting a bit of a look at things, which is which is good to see. Uh, does it, how much do you, do you still harbour ambitions to play for the Wallabies? That does. Um, any player that's getting around in Australia at the moment, you know, over in the west or you know a bit further south or in the north, you, yeah, um, I know every player here that's pulling on or gets a chance to pull on the sky blue would, um, yeah, grab the gold one with both hands. So. Um, yeah, definitely an ambition. I think when you came on from the bench last week, you were making something like a tackle every 90 seconds. And sort of a longer stint this week, um, how do you go about sort of just keeping that same intensity and having that same sort of work ethic in defence and attack? Oh, I just, I love being being on the field. Um, it's the best place to be. It's why we started playing the game. And I think that's, you know, last week it was um, something like 25 weeks or something before I'd, well, in between playing games. So, um, yeah, just like a bit of headless chook, really running around, just getting stuck into it. Um, so yeah, trying to um, yeah, the team put a good performance on down there in Melbourne, and hopefully we can do it again tomorrow night. To beat a team like the Crusaders down there in Melbourne, it must give you real, I guess, confidence to the group, or the playing group, the staff, everyone that you guys are on the right track. This yeah, it's early, you know, it's round two, and um, yeah, we fixed a few things, you know, in round one. The Reds had a you know, strong performance against us up there, and um, no, look, we were happy with the with the weekend. But like I said, it's it's round two, so uh, yeah, need to go again here tomorrow night under the lights. It should be a bit of fun. On the Highlanders, did you get a chance to sort of watch that game um, last week in Super Round when you were down there in Melbourne? Uh, I didn't go out to the game, but I've I've seen a few of their their games, and they've got um, a few familiar faces and a few new blokes getting around. So uh, look, they're a strong outfit. They always are. Um, yeah, pretty elusive sort of back three and um, strong through the pack, so um, they're going to be coming expecting a win and uh, yeah, it'll be a good contest. So it would have been a surprise sort of on the outside look and see someone like Billy Harmon sort of on the bench, um, a, couple of those, a couple of their sort of regular starters sort of demoted because of disciplinary reasons. Did that sort of take you by surprise? I mean, does, does that present an opportunity to really sort of go hard, particularly in that back row and really target maybe some experience there? I suppose, you, you know, you look at uh, weaknesses and threats and opportunities and things in any side. You know, you, um, your analysis of, of teams and individual players, they're a good outfit. Um, they played well there last week, they played well round one. Uh, they've been right in the contest both games. So, uh, yeah, no, they're, it's going to be a good game. I'm just keen to, you know, bring the fans out here on, on Friday night. And, um, like, you know, like I said, it's been a while since we've, we've been back here. So. Uh, no, nah, it'll be awesome. Hopefully, there's a bit of a few blue jerseys getting around and a few blokes throwing or throwing the beers back, and yeah, it'll be good. Yes, with that, like you have, I think the schedule sort of works out. You have sort of five out of your next eight games here. You, you know, you got teams like the Blues, the Crusaders coming here. How important is this sort of? Is it, this is a statement win to really say to the fans that we're a team that we need, you need to get behind, and we're just going to fight for you till the end. Yeah, I think um, if we put a performance together, which which we know we can. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll come in the numbers, but yeah, it's uh, it's what we deliver on the field and what they see uh, is what's going to bring them to the game. So um, yeah, no, we'll be ready for tomorrow night. Ned, you've been uh, rewarded with the number six starting jersey uh, this week. That must do wonders for your confidence after coming back from the bench last week. Yeah, um, yeah. Look, it's uh, it's always good to to pull on any number. I think. Um, in the sky blue, but being able to run around a bit, a little bit longer than last week, or um, yeah, lungs will be in a bit of strife maybe, but uh, no, it'll be good fun. And just how influential are the fans on the team? Do you guys really feel their effect when they're cheering? And they oh, jeez, yeah, yep. Um, no, nah, definitely. You you get down, you know, your end or or Highlanders end, you can you can feel them, um, the noise and things. It's it's a genuine lift and. Um, yeah, I think it, it's times like those in the game sort of remind you that you, it's it's not just about you. You know, you um, you got so many young kids, you know, looking, you know, to maybe one day pull it on, and um, parents that might have you know been lucky enough to play or uh, have always been you know around the rugby circle. So yeah, it's uh, it's awesome to to have a home ground like this, and hopefully they can fill it. Just finally, there was a few a few old boys around. Watching. 
focusing on training. Yeah. So what's it like? You mentioned that I guess the past players was like to have them um, so invested in yeah. what you're doing now. It's special, mate. It is. Um, it's and like I said, it's it's bigger than just one person. Um, it always has, you know. It always will be this game. It's it's about fellas uh, connecting on the field, but also you you see, you know, the five or six that came in and, and they remember their times on the field, and I think they, you know, a bit of nostalgia for them and a good feeling. We had a few of them talk to us in the sheds, and um, yeah, they didn't really talk about any wins or losses. They just talked about the mates that they were playing with, and that, that's sort of what they remember. So. Um, yeah, it's special to have them around and, and I know they enjoyed it as well. So it's good, yeah, good to be able to bring them in.